Hi everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways. And I have been telling you guys for a while that I'm going to do a tour of the cabin. Um, we moved here in early mid-September and there's just been so much to do, I'm sure you can imagine. But um, Paul wants to start doing Christmas stuff this weekend. I'm like, holy cow, it's that late already. So I said, before we get Christmas stuff out, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the tour. And no, it's not perfect and it's not exactly what I want, but it is what it is. When is anything ever perfect, right? And we're always changing stuff in our surroundings. So who knows? Maybe we'll do another tour in the future. But for now, this is what I got. Oh, and make sure you watch all the way till the end because I'm going to try and put a bunch of um, before and after pictures. I know a whole whole lot of you have been following us for a while, and so you'll remember what the cabin was like when we first bought it. But as a refresher or for people who haven't seen it, um, hopefully I can get a lot of good uh, before and afters. All righty, come on in. This is, I'm sure you can tell, this is our main room. It's the living room slash kitchen. And I'll try to go through a few things. Um, some of these things you guys have seen before in different videos. But um, just in case you haven't or you missed the video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So over here to the left is just some, you know, firewood and other um, paper stuff that we can burn. If we don't burn it in the wood burner, then we burn it outside. And right now you can see our propane heater is going. And normally we only use that when we're out of town over the weekend to keep, um, you know, the cabin warm enough. But um, we are going to be leave leaving for out of town. So I turned it on early because I want to clean out all the ashes there in the uh, wood burner. So that's going to be getting cleaned out. Up on top there's a cool little fan. Um, it runs when the wood burner's hot and we normally use that at night and then during the day we use that um, that pot down there. I put it with water you know to get some moisture into the air. But so seeing it's off right now that's just how I'm leaving it. Um, over there the blue barrel that is our water that is connected up to our hot water on demand system behind there um, with that wood cabinet. Um, we have a video on that too. Um, I'll try and put some links down in the description box but go ahead go over to the, the, the um, channel and go through the playlist. I'm sure you'll find a lot of stuff that's interesting to you. But anyhow that barrel holds around 20 gallons and Paul and I have figured out we use about 25 gallons maybe a little more on a daily basis so instead of bringing a big 55 gallon out here we just leave that one out and see that five gallon bucket on top we use that to um, get additional water when that one's running low so I think it's pretty good for our water consumption I read that the average American uses 80 or more gallons of water a day Wow Wow that's a lot of water I'm sure toilets figure into there quite a bit Anyhow, back, um, you know, up over there, I wanted to cover the inverter and, you know, all that wiry stuff over there. But Paul said, you know, probably wouldn't be a good idea because um, we have to look at it and switch things out fairly often, like a couple times a day. So even though I hate all that wire stuff, that's, that's how it is. It's going to stay open there. And um, those are my new curtains. I really, really like them, except I don't know how to tie them really nice. They're uh, Roman shades or Roman curtains. I like them because I can tie them up during the day and get light in here, but then I can let them drop, you know, when it's getting pretty cold out and I want a little bit of insulation on the windows. So um, that's what I have actually in all the um, windows here in this big room. So over here we have one. Let's see here. Turn around. And over here. Um, we're finally starting to get a little bit of um, decorative stuff hung up. 
I'm still not even sure where all my stuff is. But uh, little by little, you know, we're getting it out. I forgot I even bought that kind of neat candelabra sitting there. And so it's, it's, it's fun kind of going through some of these boxes like Christmas or something, you know. But uh, like here, Paul built me that, uh, that bookcase. And I don't have, you know, a lot of my books yet. I still haven't gotten them out of storage yet. I mean, I have some stuff here and there, but, you know, so it's going to take a while. Okay, I guess I should explain things maybe a little bit better. Um, as you can see, our TV is hanging off the wall. That saves um, room for having to have some kind of, um, you know, TV stand or whatever. But um, as I'm sure you've probably seen in other small houses or tiny houses or, or videos like that, um, safe state, safe, <laughs> space saving uh, methods are really important. So like, you know, down here we have that neat little, uh, I don't know what you call it, it's kind of like a chest of drawers, only it's really small. But we have some really um, needful things in there. And then like um, this footstool, this is really neat because, yeah, there's storage in there, but if you flip this top, it's a tray. So you can use it, um, you know, for eating, carrying around, whatever. So that's kind of nice. And then over there, that little um, bench, that of course is storage. And actually in there, I have most of my DVDs. Um, over here... We're still looking for a decent coffee table, but for now, we have this um, little box. It's a wooden box, and I have storage in there. The problem with getting a coffee table is, is we need something really narrow for this walkway, and it's hard to find something like that. And Paul, in the long run, might end up just um, building one. And underneath there, if you can see that, under the couch here that's actually it's actually like a futon and we slept on that a lot when we first got the cabin but those are drawers that roll out and so we have a lot of storage in there as well you just gotta um, sometimes you know figure out where you have space and you know um, some stuff we got rid of but some we still need to store over here I see it's getting a little dark um, there we go. It's starting to lighten up a little bit. We have, I have my plants. I don't have very many here. I got rid of a bunch because it's not very bright in here, as you can see. Um, that's our freezer. And that's going to be taken out, uh, maybe even tonight, but definitely within the next couple of days. Because it's finally cold enough outside where I could put all the freezer stuff outside in a cooler and we'll be good to go. And so we're just going to take this out and on that stand there might actually be where we put the Christmas tree. Not sure yet, but I think so. And so I got, you know, just little spices up there. That basket helps her, you know, keeping stuff. Um, up here, this was a cabinet I bought at... Habitat for Humanity, and I love it because it's so deep and I can fit a lot of stuff. But uh, to me, it looks kind of funny. It sticks out a bit compared to the other cabinets, but what are you going to do? That's what we're doing for now. And down here, if you haven't seen this video, um, I encourage you to check it out. I'll put a link in the description. This is our icebox. So, old fashioned icebox. Paul built it, and I'll show you real quick. You just, um, it's insulated, and there's a cooler inside there. And so we just put ice packs or bottles of ice or whatever that comes from the freezer in there, and um, we switch them out every day, and that is our refrigerator. And it's simple, and it gets done what we need to get done. Oh, and this here, so when we lift it up, we can hook it on there, and it stays open. So inexpensive and easy to do um, nothing really much around here I did put a skirt across the sink there I put a brown one first and then this this yellow is um, a piece of curtain I had from another house 
and because um, it gets kind of cold underneath there and there aren't cabinets it's just open an open shelf underneath there so that's really helped to block some of the cold air that came out we upgraded our composter over there we used to just use an old coffee can this one's bigger and I can put more in it so that's nice and here's a tip right over here is what I like to call my coffee station when I make coffee in the morning on the stove I put it into the thermos there and it will stay hot and fresh all day long and I don't have to use any other type of energy to keep it warm so that's nice and here is my just my uh, diffuser to help add you know some moisture in the air winter air is just so dry I did redo this um, dresser thing here uh, I, I do believe I have before and after pictures so um, I'll stick that in there that has been a godsend all these these drawers I can fit a lot of stuff in there especially a bunch of my herbs here's the Berkey of course and I did have a video on redoing this this used to be pink so keep checking those links I'll make sure to put it in there there's that sign Paul loves um, we're gonna move on because it's kind of cloudy today and I want to make sure I have enough light in here for you guys um, this is the bedroom we use this a lot more as a walkthrough for the other two rooms but um, these lights up here really come in handy at night um, you know so it's bright enough you can see what you need to see but it's not you know super bright and they're really inexpensive and they come with a timer so once you turn them on you can have they'll stay on for like six hours straight go off for 18 and then come back on again so it's really neat anyhow um these are the barn doors here's one of them for the bathroom and here's the other one that goes into the living room area they're really nice paul did a, a really great job on them and they weren't really expensive to do so that's good too and here we have our second tv that's also hanging up high but we really really don't watch it because um the, the living room TV, we have dish, satellite, that's the only thing we can get up here. And we didn't get it for this TV, so we get a whole four channels <laughs> in here. So um, I'm thinking we're mostly just going to use it, God forbid, if we get sick or something, we're stuck in bed. But um, it's my dresser. But then here I have a heater that um, we use occasionally. When it gets really cold out, we roll it over to like the bathroom because that room gets really cold when it's when it's cold outside. And so if you have to take a shower, you want that bathroom heated up just a little bit, you know. Um, so just, you know, over here I have another, this was a TV stand, but I'm using it to store a bunch of other stuff. And this thing here, more storage. Most of this is like bathroom stuff, stuff you would have in a linen closet. And these are my um, solar lights for inside. I put them outside every day to charge them up and bring them back in. And today is being kind of cloudy, so I don't know how charged they'll be. But moving on, let's go over to the um, bathroom. Oh, and over here, this little white stand, that has almost all my CDs in it. So that's kind of, I've had that thing for god 20 years now oh boy <laughs> anyhow here is the bathroom and this did make this was a lot different than when we um when we first bought the cabin so i really i'm happy with it um it's a new light fixture new you know mirror all kinds of stuff and so paul and i took that uh these wooden crates a guy was selling them on craigslist he worked at a produce place and we got them for like two bucks a piece I think so we used them put them in this shelving and that helps us out quite a bit and just over here you know the shower um, I think we got this in one of our videos that's the galvanized steel in there I think that's what that is and you know it's really nice it's it's unique it's easy to clean it's a nice shower and there's our composting toilet that's what helps keep our water consumption down um, it's nice because you access it from outside and we change it every day and so 
composting toilets really aren't bad how some people think they are and then here this is our vanity Paul got that at a really good discount but anyhow inside there we have you know a bunch of storage in there and I have a couple little baskets underneath there I mean geez when you're downsizing you really don't realize how much stuff you have right okay over here this was not here in September he built this so we'd have some extra room and I hope it's bright enough in here for you let's see if it'll just a little bit um, as you can see we fit a lot of stuff in here this is a you know a shelving unit I got some canned goods and it just you know catch-all stuff is in here but you know um, broom and vacuum and stuff like that some extra dry goods and uh, also in here are the four water um, barrels we have so each one of these holds about 55 excuse me 55 gallons and yeah like in our other video uh, we just put the hose through the window and use that transfer pump to get it from outside into the barrels and then we just take it you know with a five gallon bucket from here into the kitchen as we need it and um, Paul built some shelving in here and uh, there's another shelf down there um, right above that rod down there there's um this doesn't have another one but it's okay because then I can hang um, longer items here there's my cat Sydney a lot of people wonder if I have a cat they never see her when they come to visit she likes to hide and she was hiding now because of the vacuum cleaner but um, Paul's dresser it's an old one but that fits in here so he's got you know his room we got all our room down here extra shoes and boots and stuff like that so I am just super super grateful to have this room and I'm so happy that he built it because geez Louise we could use the room okay you guys that is the tour the inside tour for now who knows how it'll change right over the upcoming months and years you know we plan on being here for a long time but um, thumbs up it if you liked it. Um, let me know in comments what you thought or how you think maybe we could change things or, or whatever. Just let me uh, know your, your thoughts on the video. And keep watching because I'm going to try and put in as many um, pictures as I can before and after or just, you know, whatever. Um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. That would be great. It was nice talking to you. And you take care.